Hey, all, this is Jason Dibler, Pocket. Um, I purchased a lot of this power box stuff. I had a real big order, like fifteen hundred dollar order, because I'm outfitting my whole whole home gym. And this was a a tool from Power Block that I wasn't really familiar with. I didn't know it existed. But this is the um, it's an easy curl bar that you can use with your urethane power block attachment. So, um, I do a lot of beach buddy products. I'm doing hammer and chisel. I'm a P90X graduate. I've been featured in a P90X commercial. I've been featured in the Body Beast commercial. And in Body Beast in particular, there's a lot of moves that you do with a curl bar. So then the problem is now you have to go out and buy a curl bar for $20, $30, you know, $50 maybe. Then you have to buy all the extra weights to go onto it. So this entire curl bar, curl bar attachment runs for $129. So for $129, you get the extra bar and the um, holder that will work with your set of urethane adjustable weights. So right now we're just kind of doing an open a box, show you what comes in the box when you order the curl bar attachment. Um, so you know what's coming. So, so far we just got a bar. I'm interested because Oh, the ends here have screw ends in it, so something's going to screw into the end. Uh, when I open here, um, right on top of the phone, there's a couple bolts and washers. So you're going to want to be careful when you're opening this, you don't just discard those bolts, which I'm sure are going to be crucial. Okay, now I've got two sets of what look like handles for the urethane power blocks. I notice here that it does have room for the adder ducts. So you're going to be able to do all those incremental weights from the extra adder weights. And it looks like the um, only thing we have to do now is screw the curl bar to the deck. And then make sure that you know on the deck you add the weights that you want. So when I open this, <clears throat> the uh, there was a little screw attachment here that was on one of the... Um, styrofoam pieces. So you want to make sure you don't lose that. And it looks like that screw attachment just screws right into the end of the bar here. So I'm going to take the screw, screw it into the end of the bar, and kind of just get it finger tight for now, and then we'll go back and tighten it up. Um, I'm sure the orientation of that's going to matter, and I'm going to look here in the box. I have obviously the other weight, and they are like configured on the same side, so when you look at it, it's the same format. Oh, and then here it is. I didn't think there was any directions, and I was going to be confused. Um, so you get directions that come with it. Yeah, it just says to screw in the bar on each side. Barbell system is rated for a maximum of 195 pounds. So um, I've got 90 pound dumbbells, so that would be a total of 180, so it's rated to go all the way with my dumbbells. And then the only other thing here I see is an attachment um, that are, is designed for different weights because these, these um, handles would work for several of the different urethane weights. And so they give you two stickers to put on each one. Um, so if I've got the U90 barbell, I can use the U90 stickers. Those will sit right here on the top. So when you go to put the adjustable weights on, you know exactly what weight you need. So yeah, pretty easy, straightforward to um, mount this, this guy. The only thing I'm not sure of is the size of this bolt. Yeah, that's just a 19 uh, millimeter socket. Uh, actually, it's at 18, so. 18 millimeter socket and that should be all you need to assemble this and again if you're just interested in seeing kind of what's in the box you know you're obviously going to stop the video whenever you want um, if you want to see how we actually assemble this now you know it's an 18 millimeter socket uh, it just has the each adder each handle here is wrapped up separate so I was saying before in a different video I like to kind of put all these screws and finger tight first just to make sure I don't cross thread anything by using a socket wrench.
Well, said it's kind of a odd place to have to be screwing in bolts. But uh, it's on there now, and you're tight. Kind of wiggle it, get it even tighter. As you can see, I finished assembling this together really easy. I mean, there's just two bolts on each side. I'd recommend a box and wrench or a gear wrench that's giving us an 18 millimeter of bolts. You want to get that in and you want to get it tight. The one thing I notice here is that, you know, you want to make sure that this bar is lined up so that both of these handles are, are on the same plane. It'd be kind of weird if one was off. So kind of play with that just a little bit to get it done. And then it comes with all these stickers and I noticed that I have the U90 weights and there's a U90 easy and there's a U90 barbell. The U90 barbells would be for the straight barbell. U90 easy would be for the easy curl bar and it says easy curl bar on it. And there's some difference in handles and configurations so it's probably useful and important that you put this sticker on. So when you use the adjustable dumbbells on, you know exactly what way you're doing. And this looks like it's just a thin foil sticker. So make sure it's aligned up here with the curl bar. And that way you're going to know exactly which weight to put on each size, each side, so that you uh, know how much you're curling. I'm, I'm going to say right off the bat without having done this that this isn't going to be the easiest adjustable system to use when it comes to a curl bar but if you you're somebody that's already invested the money into the adjustable weights here and you don't want to go out and have to buy another set of olympic weights or standard size weights and an extra curl bar this is going to save you a lot of time and maybe more, I mean, a lot of money, and maybe more importantly, space. So this empty bar right here will start off at 20 pounds, and it will go all the way up until 40 pounds if you add four adder weights. The question might be, how do I add four adder weights? So take out both of your normal handles from your power block set. In my case, I've got the U90s. Now I can put the handles away over here. And I can add up to four adder weights into the bar. So with two adder weights, now I'm at 25 pounds. Each one's two and a half pounds. If I go ahead and put in four adder weights, now I have a total of 30 pounds. So what I'm going to say right here is to get from 20 to 30 pounds is going to be really easy. Um, that adjustability actually if you ask me it's easier than any other curl bar I've ever used because you don't have to put on plates, you don't have to put on little clips. Um, that was really easy to do. Wow, this is really neat because now with this system I can go all the way up to 200 pounds curling and the bar itself, this arrangement says it's made for 195 pounds so I can use this whole set of weights. Um, they're saying it's rated for that. I find that hard to believe but um, I'm gonna go with it. So what's, what's a normal weight that I would use? Now, I've been all the way up to, say, 70 pounds. Not, maybe I'll put 100 pounds in a bar. My curl bar is configured for 70 pounds. So 70 pounds for me is a heavy curl. Like this is the maximum that I would be doing on a curl. Now, if you go into an upright, I could get a little heavier. Let's say I wanted to do a different weight. Uh, let's say we wanted to go up to the next increment would be from 70 to 90 and everything in between. I could take up the 90 pound weights, set those up on the floor and now I can set it right in front of my bar here. Do the other side, grab the amount of weight you need, put it down on the floor, put your bar in. To, to be honest with you, this is actually quicker and easier, in my opinion, than any other curl bar I've ever used because you know, you're not messing around with getting all the other weights up. Now one thing I'll say about this is um, it's hard to put in the, the clips when you're on carpet, you know, because they move around a little bit. That's why the stand is nice. It's a nice flat surface that makes the clips easier. But to tell you what, to mess around with this clip a little bit, is a lot easier to me 
and setting up a bar, getting different weights, taking off different weights, especially if you're gonna do a strip set here. Now I can start with 90 pounds now. 90 pounds is you know getting towards bench press stuff type weight. This is gonna go up to 200. I mean, most professional athletes um, in the NFL get tested at 215. So I mean, this is gonna take you right up to the uh, an amount where you could be bench pressing now. I think if you're doing a lot of bench press, you probably don't want this configuration. But if you're only doing an occasional bench press, I think this is gonna be enough. But here at 90 pounds. That still feels very secure. It feels better balanced now than it had before. Again, I'm not gonna be curling 90 pounds all the time. But this feels good and secure. To get this back to my dumbbell configuration again, it's gonna be real simple. And you know, now that I've tried this a couple times, take out the pins, pull out your bar, put these back to your dumbbells. Just put in your handles again and you're ready to go. So I was pretty concerned about how that was all gonna work. But tell you what, like that is a, to be honest, I think that's easier than using a traditional curl bar setup. So I hope these videos are helping. I mean, to be honest, I kind of wish that I had seen that before I made that purchase. Kind of went on faith, knowing the reputation of power blocks and thinking that it would all work together. But I buy this one set of 90 pound weights. You buy the additional $129 curl bar setup. And now I can curl or do upright rows all the way up to 200 pounds. I think that's a pretty unique deal that makes a lot of sense. And you know, if I just throw my curl bar here right over to my by my rack, I'm all set up in a really small footprint for the majority of moves that I need to do. I mean, I think if you combine that setup here, we've got the extra kettlebell attachment for $79. The platform was uh, just $29. This bench was a little bit more expensive, about 200 bucks. You go with a bench for 200 and either a dip attachment for only another 50 bucks and a chin-up attachment. Again, you wouldn't need a second bench. I have it because I like to work out with buddies. But this extra chin-up attachment, at only $79, that's basically your entire gym people. So for less than $1,000, you'd have chin-ups, you'd have dips, you'd have your full set of weight up to 90 pounds. Obviously the bench is um, adjustable. I can go all the way down to the flat bench. So I can do um, bench press at an angle. I can sit back, do a lot of pack type moves or flies. If I put that all the way up, Now I'm ready for a military press. So on a budget with money or a budget with space, I'm finding the, the power block is, is a real, really unique tool that allow you to do a lot with you know minimum amount of money and minimum amount of space. Hey, if you have any other questions about any of this stuff, just feel free to personal message me. If you've enjoyed the videos or this has been helpful at all, just go ahead and subscribe to the account. Um, that helps us when it comes to advertising, stuff like that. I appreciate your time.